Today's Gospel gives us a profound insight into the heart of Jesus, which is the heart of God. Jesus senses keenly his disciples' need for rest from their ministry and invites him to come along to retreat and to some quiet solitude and some rest. But when the eager crowd threatens to spoil their plans by preceding them to their destination, Jesus shows no displeasure, but understands their depth and the depth of their need. He sacrifices his own need for the desire to spend quiet solitude with his disciples and attends to the people's needs instead. Here we get a glimpse of a God who never turns anybody away, but gives a full attention to all who come to him in need. We also see from this reading that Jesus realises the need for his disciples to take some time out to replenish their bodies and their souls from discipleship and being the, the demands of being apostles of Christ. Jesus knew this from his own experience and he also knew the benefit of going away to a quiet place to be in communion with his Father. We too, in our own everyday lives, as modern disciples, should recognise that we also need that replenishment of our souls and our bodies when it comes to spending time, some quiet time, with Jesus each and every day. I try to endeavour to go on a retreat about twice a week, or twice, sorry, say twice a year, usually to Glen de Lock, where I can recharge my own spiritual batteries. And on a daily basis, I endeavour to spend time in prayer and solitude, reflecting on the gospel of the day or the reading of the day, so that I am fed by the Lord. For without this time of reflection and being with God, I don't think it's possible for the likes of myself to be a deacon. While it is important to carry out the work of the Lord, I think it is also important, perhaps more important, that we focus on the Lord of the work for his guidance and help. Amen.